When you watch horror movies, you probably have some idea of what to expect. From paranormal activity to serial killers, anything is possible when it comes to sending shivers down our spines. But what makes a scary movie even scarier? The fact that it's based on real events. Yes, some famous horror films, including, The Exorcist, 1973 Annabelle, 2014, or, The Exorcism of Emily Rose, 2005 are indeed based on true stories. Let's go and find out which are the real stories behind these movies. The Exorcism of Emily Rose 2005. In this movie, a priest who performed an exorcism is defended by a lawyer after being charged with negligent homicide. The alleged possession of Annalise Michel forms the basis of the narrative. She was well known for having been the target of more than 60 exorcisms. Malnutrition eventually caused Michelle's death. The priest, her parents, and the crime were all found guilty. Zodiac 2007. The protagonist of this film is a cartoonist who is driven to crack the mystery of the Zodiac Killer. The Zodiac Killer terrorized California in the 60s and 70s. At least five murders are confirmed to have been his, but he claimed to have been responsible for 37. Zodiac sent letters to the press, but his identity was never discovered. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2003. Since its initial release in 1974, a number of films have been produced, including this one from 2003 about a group of friends being pursued by a man with a chainsaw who is disfigured. The true story of serial killer Ed Gain, whose home police discovered several objects constructed of human body parts in, served as the basis for the movie. The Strangers 2008. A young couple is terrorized by a family of three while on vacation in a remote home in this movie. Brian Bertino, the writer and director of the film, was inspired by a childhood incident in which strangers knocked on his home and turned out to be burglars. The Manson family murders also served as inspiration for the movie. The Silence of the Lambs 1991. In this movie, a young FBI agent enlists the assistance of another murderer who is currently behind bars in order to track down a serial killer who skins his victims. The film is based on a Thomas Harris book. The author formerly worked as a police beat reporter for a newspaper. Harris drew inspiration for the character from actual occurrences, such as a conversation with a physician who was a murder defendant on death row. The Possession 2012. In this film, a little girl purchases an antique box at a yard sale without realizing that it is actually home to a trapped ghost. The movie was influenced by legends involving a Dybbuk box. Jewish mythology gave rise to the idea of a box that contained spirits. The Haunting in Connecticut 2009. In this movie, a family moves into a new home and soon after, they start to encounter strange occurrences. This is based on the real-life experiences of Alan and Carmen Snedeker, who purchased a home that had previously been a funeral home. According to reports, many of the eerie occurrences in the movie actually occurred. The Exorcist 1973. A girl is possessed by an evil spirit in this horror classic, and the mother of the girl turns to two priests for assistance. The same named novel, which itself was based on the actual exorcism of Roland Doe in 1949, served as the source material for the film. The Amityville Horror 2005. The plot of the 1979 and 2005 version centers on a couple who relocates to a home where a mass murder occurred. They subsequently begin to experience a number of strange occurrences. The Lutz family served as the basis for the plot. They moved into the Amityville home in 1975, and soon afterward experienced a number of paranormal events. The Conjuring 2013. The movie is based on actual experiences that paranormal investigators Lorraine and Ed Warren had. The movie's plot is partially based on actual occurrences. The former owners of the home that served as the inspiration for the film initiated a lawsuit. The home allegedly suffered vandalism after the film's premiere. Annabelle 2014. The excitement sparked by the doll in the 2013 film led to the release of this one by the, The Conjuring, 2013 producers. The movie is based on Ed and Lorraine Warren's actual paranormal investigation, which they conducted because they thought a doll was evilly possessed. The Hills Have Eyes 2006. In the final scenes of, The Hills Have Eyes, 2006 and, Wrong Turn, 2003 a family of cannibals hunts down and devours their prey in a remote location. Wrong Turn 2003. The narrative of a Scottish clan that devoured hundreds of people during the 16th century served as the basis for the plots of these films. The clan's leader, Sonny Bean, was eventually put to death. Eaten Alive 1976. The true account of serial killer Joe Ball, who killed over 20 women in the 1930s, serves as the basis for the movie. He allegedly fed his crocodiles the bodies. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe for more information. Please do support us.